What up, peeps? Abby and I right now are heading to Hopeless. to Hopeless Inc., which is the tattoo shop that we mostly go to. Abby goes other places sometimes. I don't, I'm not anymore. I don't go anymore. But we are both wanting to get something new in like the next couple months. And so, Abby, did you make an appointment? I'm in the process of making an appointment. She's making an appointment. She hasn't put in a deposit yet. And I haven't even done anything, so I'm going to talk to my artist, and we're going to try to get stuff set up on the same day. That's um, what we did last year. So yeah, we're going to see what happens. Um, I'm not going to show you what we're wanting to get just yet, because I want that to be a surprise for the day when we actually get them done. I think that would be a cool vlog. But after this, oh, there's Vancouver Pizza Company. That is, the manager of that place is, uh, is Mike, the guy that runs the Vancouver Toy Show. He's been in the vlogs before. But yeah, we're going to, <clears throat> we're gonna go in here. We're right outside now. Go in here and talk to the people and then we're gonna be going out to dinner afterwards. So neither of our artists were available to just like chat right now. So we, I scheduled for a consultation for next Tuesday because my artist is not working tomorrow. And then so. I <clears throat> am emailing with one artist and texting with the other one. Yeah, so. <clears throat> Obviously, nothing's getting done right now. It's going to be a little while before we actually get any actual tattooing done. But next Tuesday, we'll come back. I'll chat with my dude <laughs> and see what we're going to do. I have like a like an idea of something that I'm interested in, but <clears throat> I want him to potentially like redraw it and maybe add and change some things. So see what happens but right now we're going to black angus for dinner and then we're potentially going to be doing a little bit of goodwill shopping after that and then i don't know what we're doing tonight i want to watch wild america finally and maybe maybe like do some food prep as well yeah so off to black angus i mean i just ordered our food and now we're waiting we got do that. what Peace. Check this place out. It's like really dark in here. It's not super dark, but it's all like, it's all wood and like cowboy themed and like dark leather and stuff. I like it. But we ordered, we both got prime rib and we got like garlic bread and some zucchini appetizer. So show you guys all the food when it gets here. These are, what are these? These are fried, it was fried, fried garlic, garlic pepper zucchini. And we also got garlic cheesy bread. This is all that's come so far. But, and that's cucumber sauce. Oh, it looks so good. Mmm, mmm. Brussels sprouts, baked potato, prime rib. Abby got two things of broccoli and prime rib. It's so good. Black Angus is where we just ate. Food was really good. Look at the trees. Did you like it? Yeah, it was good. We don't go out to eat at fancy places like this all the time, but recently we have, but <laughs> like, it's nice to be able to do it because we only have two days off a week, but we have tons of leftovers. I'm sure you could tell we got lots of food. <laughs> But we wanted food for tonight. It's only 7.30. We're gonna be up till freaking 2 a.m. or something, so we're gonna have to eat again. This is the first meal we've had today. Here's our first Goodwill stop in Salmon Creek. We, we might be able to hit two more after here. This has been here for so long, I always look at it because it's kind of worth getting, but I never pick it up. There's games in the glass case. That might be worth getting. More in the glass case, you said? Mm hmm Oh, let's look at them. Can we look up here? Yeah. Okay. There's a few things. Mm. Wait, I don't 
Most wanted would be decent, but not for eight dollars. Yeah, probably pass on those ones. It's kind of cool. This is not worth getting, unfortunately. It's only about a five dollar game. So we gotta keep looking. There's a connect in the box. We're gonna see if there was like a really cheap VCR so we can watch our movie tonight in the bedroom. We don't wanna have to bring in everything from the from the game room and hook it up. Here's a combo player. It is $13. That's too much. That's a cool looking little radio. Uh, you mean the one? No, not that. <laughs> Oh, it's USB too. Bluetooth wooden retro radio. That's pretty cool. What'd you find? Awesome. And awesome. We always need What about these. that yellow <clears throat> one? This one is what we call third party. What about that black nut? How much is that? There's two of them. And that one's Nintendo. Four ninety nine. Mmm. And four ninety nine. That might be a little much. Yeah. <laughs> Let me see that guitar. You look at it. Oh, it's stuck on the tripod. It's Xbox three sixty. It's got some stuff rattling in it. I'm not gonna get that. Place right now. Both sealed. So you saw the stuff that we just got in there. Um, every, I got a candle. Abby bought a candle. Everything for the store, I believe, maybe except for those two Skylanders bundles, they just don't seem to sell in store very often, but even if we don't sell them in the store, they're still worth it on Amazon. So pretty cool stuff. It is 8.04, Goodwill closes at nine. So we have a little bit of time. We're gonna try to make it to two more. We'll see if we can. Goodwill number two. Open sesame. So we ended up getting two remotes and this little pocket computer thing. Uh, they're all just for eBay. It's our last stop of the night. They close in 15 minutes. Let's find some cool stuff, Abby. Okay. Uh, that's pretty cool. The Power Rangers thing? Yeah. Are there video games in here? Yeah. Nothing super special though. All we found at this last spot is this Nightmare Before Christmas board game. One little plush for the store, a little Pokeball, and a Guitar Hero drum pedal. These are actually worth a little bit of money. What do you have there? Joe Doyle had been shot what do you have? What's that? <laughs> What's right there? Is that your mousy? The first question that anyone's gonna ask. Is that your favorite toy? We've had that toy since she was a kitten. That is her most favorite toy in the whole world. And Joe's empty money clip was on the floor, which according to Katie had contained approximately eighteen hundred dollars. She's so cute. The surviving spouse. Katie's hands were tested for gunshot residue. Look at that mouth. <laughs> it's so ugly. The test was negative. 